The political battle to approve Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court is beginning to unfold on Capitol Hill. The Senate Judiciary Committee announced that confirmation hearings for Kavanaugh will begin September 4th. KRK4's Jesse Tador sat down with Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton to get his views on the SCOTUS candidate. Yeah, Mallory, I actually had Senator Tom Cotton on with me this week and got to ask him a little bit about the Kavanaugh nomination. Here's a little bit about what he had to say. What I do know is that based on his 12 years on the Court of Appeals and reading his opinions, that he believes the judge's role is to interpret and apply the law and the Constitution, not to make up what that means, not to impose his own values or what he wishes were uh, the case in the Constitution or our laws. And you know, as the late Justice Scalia used to say, if you're a judge and you don't reach outcomes that you dislike on a personal level, you're not a very good judge because sometimes the law is written in a way that you wouldn't have written if you were a member of the Congress. Sometimes the Constitution is written in a way you wouldn't have liked to ha had it written if you were back there at the founding. But you have to call, call uh, the balls and strikes as you see them. You can't impose your own personal values and Judge Kavanaugh has not done that on the Court of Appeals. And that was Cotton's response, particularly to Kavanaugh's effect on the Roe v. Wade decision. Wanted to bring in Meet the Press's Chuck Dodd to talk a little bit about this. What did you think of Cotton's comments? I mean, he was obviously speaking from the judge's standpoint, but what do you think is going to happen moving forward? Well, look, I think the confirmation hearings, to be honest, I think they're going to become more Russia-focused than abortion rights-focused. I, I think that, uh, not to say that we're not going to, you're, you're going to hear a lot of, uh, you're going to hear plenty of questioning about Kavanaugh having to do with what he thinks of precedent. Because, and that is always code for what do you think of the Roe v. Wade decision and how much do you believe in precedent. And, uh, and the Roe decision uh, has been upheld a few times. And, and, and John Roberts, when he went through his confirmation hearing, he was, he, he was a big supporter of believing that precedent um, should matter in this case and, and, and didn't say what he thought whether he liked the ruling, but just simply saying that he's not ready to, uh, to be a part of an attempt to overturn it. It's sort of a subtle way that that's done at these committee hearings. So look for that nuanced language. It's almost like code. You, you'll, he'll never say what he thinks of Roe v. Wade. He'll never say whether he's for overturning it, but it'll be the questioning of precedent and what he believes in Supreme Court precedents and, and how he thinks about that that will tell you where he is on Roe. But I think the... His comments about whether a sitting president, it can be subject of investigations, can be subject of criminal indictments, can be subject of investigations. He has gone back and forth. His time on the Star Committee during the Clinton impeachment inquiry um, is going to make that, I think, the liver issue, if you will. What's going to be the live wire issue of those hearings? I think it's going to be his opinions about whether sitting presidents can be subject of subpoenas and criminal investigations. Mm -hmm. And then, Chuck, something I also got to ask Cotton about was just all the documents requests going on at this time with Kavanaugh. I mean, I, and I asked him, too, I was like, well, you know, you're criticizing Democrats, but wouldn't you be wanting as many documents as possible if Obama was nominating someone from the Clinton administration? It, it, Jesse, you nailed it, okay? This is how it works in the United States Senate during Supreme Court nominations. The, the party... Uh, in favor of the Supreme Court nominee wants to limit the amount of paper trail, and the party not in favor of the Supreme Court nominee wants every piece of paper the person's ever uh, ever created. So, uh, look, it, it, these little fights happen, especially when someone like Brett Kavanaugh, who has a more extensive paper trail because of his time in the Bush White House, I suspect that you'll see Democrats try to drag this out a little bit longer about the paper trail, but for the most part, I think They've gotten quite a bit already. Chuck, thanks as usual for breaking this down for us. A lot to pay attention to. All right, Jesse, thank you. And you can catch my full interview with Senator Tom Cotton this Sunday. We talk everything from the Mueller investigation to his reelection bid. That is right before Meet the Press on Sundays at 8.30. And then Chuck Todd right after me 